Well, good afternoon. This afternoon, the Security Council adopted its first resolution on the situation in Myanmar. Since the junta violently seized power in February 2021, they have conducted a brutal campaign against the people of Myanmar, burning villages, running indiscriminate airstrikes, torture and mass killings. This resolution sends a clear message. The Security Council is deeply concerned at what is happening in Myanmar at the hands of the military. And the so-called state of emergency imposed to oppress the people's calls for peace and democracy. With this resolution, the Security Council demands an immediate end to violence, respect for human rights, concrete and immediate action to implement ASEAN's five-point consensus, and to restore the democratic will of the people of Myanmar. The Council gives its full support to ASEAN. The Council also urges the immediate release of all arbitrarily detained prisoners, including President Win Mint and State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi, and calls for full humanitarian access so we can get aid to those who need it. We stand with the people of Myanmar, and it is time for the junta to return the country to them. Thank you. Ambassador, um, two questions. Um, you made clear demands of, of the military, but what is going to force them to comply with the things that are in your resolution? Where's the teeth? Uh, and secondly, uh, I, it's now nearly two years since the coup, and I know the UK has been working on a resolution or something like this for nearly all of that time. Um, you haven't been able to get it through until now. What has changed? So I think take those in reverse order. You've seen the council has considered the situation in Myanmar several times since February 2021, resulting uh, presidential statements, press statements. But this is the first time we've had a Security Council resolution. What's changed? The situation in Myanmar uh, has got, as I said, worse and worse. The indiscriminate killing, the airstrikes, the human rights abuses. And I think it's becoming increasingly clear to the world that this is awful and appalling for the people of Myanmar, uh, but also has a destabilizing effect on the region. Uh, and that's where we've seen, I think, a stronger and stronger response from ASEAN. So the outcome of the ASEAN summit asking the Security Council, the UN, uh, to act, I think probably had a decisive impact. And that's why those two things, the Security Council, ASEAN and the Five Point Consensus, are woven uh, so closely uh, together in the resolution. Um, in terms of what happens now, um, it's the ASEAN Five Point Consensus that we are all working around, uh, calling for an end to hostilities, access for humanitarian aid, the release of political prisoners, including uh, President Win Mint and Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, and we will all continue to work uh, to that end, including the ASEAN envoy and the UN Secretary General's uh, envoy. And I know that ASEAN will continue uh, to do the same as they move into the new year. Thank you. Thank you.